Hello everyone, welcome back to Goom's Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about GitHub Copilot and we'll be enabling it in AL programming that is Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code IDE and we will also discuss how we can enhance and fast uh, like uh, fasten our uh, project, AL programming project while writing how a copilot this GitHub will help us to make us code faster. First of all, let us understand what is Copilot, that is GitHub Copilot, okay. So GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programmer that helps you to write code faster with less work. So it draws context from comments and code to suggest individual lines and whole functions instantly. GitHub Copilot basically powered by Open AI Codex, okay, so Open AI. Um, a generative pre-trained language model created by OpenAI. So it is available as an extension for Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, uh, NeoBIM, uh, Visual Studio, uh, Visual Studio as well. Okay. So we will be uh, seeing how we can integrate Visual Studio Code uh, to make like we will be we will be using the extension GitHub Copilot in order to see how this Visual Studio Code we can easily write the uh, code easily okay so um, first of all we have to first you should understand one thing that uh, github copilot is not a free it is only a free trial i think it will be for 30 days free trial and after that you have to pay okay so you can just check whether it will work for you better so if you just scroll down you can uh, know the pricing of that as well so copilot for individual which is 10 dollar per month okay and if it is for business it is $19 per month you can first explore and check whether it is really working out for you and if you feel it is then you can definitely go and buy for it so in order to use this you need um, github account okay so let us just start the free trial click on this free trial okay if you just click on this free trial it will take you to uh, login like you have to log in with your github account so just click sign in already i have entered the email id and the password so you can see your github copilot is here okay so you can just give the suggestions like allow github click save okay so it will be saved your preferences will be saved okay so you can go to your um, uh, al object designer just to save it okay so here you can see that um, in the left side you have an extension option right so here you have to click and go and type copilot so it will show you the github copilot so this is what the github copilot you have just click here and here you can see it's an uh, you are ai AIR programmer okay that is what we have just discussed before that you can also check that whether you have logged in with github like logged in with your al uh, visual studio code editor using the same link okay uh, you have to sign in to synchronize sign in with github so that it will be signed in with your github account that is the same github account where you have enabled it okay so you can see the authorization okay once it is you can you have to authorize it click authorize visual studio code so it will be authorized your application will be directed uh, to authorized application so here once it is authorized you can see open visual studio code so you have to log in with okay so you have to log in with that that please remember that okay the settings you should be turned on you have to turn on the settings sign in and turn on you have to sign in here to turn on the settings okay so after you have you have to install this okay so you can see the install you can see the complete information about your github copilot just click and install your github copilot is installing so once it is installed you will get an message okay you will be getting a message here wait for a mes message it is installing here as well so you can see that your github copilot is installing so wait for some time and once okay it is installed it is installing this extension is enabled globally okay because since you are using this no like it will be enabled globally so you can see you should see the github copilot um uh, thing here okay you can see GitHub Copilot here on the 
bottom on the i uh, please check my um check my cursor mouse cursor you can see copilot is here okay would you like to disable copilot no it is enabled okay so you can just go here now let us see how we can use that okay so github copilot once it is uh, uh, enabled you can just go to your um, you can you can ensure to save okay and you can ensure to log in back in order to make it uh, effective you can also check whether in your preferences under your settings you have the extension called copilot okay enable auto complete so everything are enabled and if you wanted to add if you wanted uh, to enable any other options you can also do that first let us go and check whether it is working fine if it is not then we will try to uh, refresh it and come back okay so here you can see uh, in the array function kt okay, code unit 50105 okay so this is my coordinate and if i try to write something like um, um inside the begin let me just try to create a uh, one thing called um, okay and in the see it is it is showing you the auto complete can you see here colon is equal to one or something like what you wanted to create so i'm just going to give like um, a number uh, colon okay is equal to one let it be like that and let me just create an, another thing called see once if i type customer it is showing a record customer whether you want to write it so just press tab it will be auto completing it okay and if once if you want to type something over here okay so customer see dot get number it is by default is showing dot get number so once if i click dot then if i wanted to change something else okay for example if i wanted to change something like uh, find by email or get balance as vendor any other thing so these are the various options the, these are the various uh, methods which are available here set address so i'm just giving set address so automatically it is showing my address set uh, range okay so it is showing you what are all the possible value you can give it okay number one comma number one so you have to give two uh, two things to that no so you can type like um number one comma what number you have to set okay i have to set what i have to set one zero one two three okay so three four five six seven eight or something else you can just type it so here it is showing you the possible options which you can give okay so this is what i'm just trying to tell you that this is uh, there is some possibilities for you that you can create it okay so set range so here you can tell you you should also follow the um, uh, follow the arguments which i have to you have to pass okay so set range inside that you can just give anything so i'm just giving number comma i can give like if it is if you have something like twenty thousand then i have to just make it so the next one is it is asking you for the set filter by default it is asking you for the set filter so if you want to go with the set filter then you can go with that or else if you want to just calculate something then if you can calculate for example if i'm just giving giving it something like if okay the customer see if if just i simply just typed if okay it is automatically showing you what are all the possible if uh, that is possible if condition you can write and say customer dot find set then repeat what it has to repeat and until the customer it has to if it want to modify if it want to set something so this is what the power of co programmer okay that is a co uh, pair programmer it is just trying to give you some possible options which you wanted to give so this is an excellent option this is an excellent extension which is provided to us by um uh, as by github okay so leave it this is for uh, core unit right so let us just go ahead with the page which we have already <clears throat> okay let us try with the page um okay oh, let us have some other i'm just creating a sub page okay 
so here you can see you have a field so i'm just typing t field see it is showing you what is a field here you are planning to get it okay and what is a source it's a customer so i'll just try to get the um, okay it is showing actually it is showing the name right okay it is showing a name so here it is showing application area is equal to all and see it is showing application area is equal to all in and simply i'm pressing a space here okay so this is data classification will not come because it's for um, uh, for table and if i enter if i start okay th this is fine okay so if anything else like caption if you want to give caption it is probably giving you the caption name and if you want to type tooltip okay it is giving you the tooltip as well so uh, it is ex it is writing for you it is creating for you and it is automatically sh uh, showing you what are the possibilities here and uh, for example if i'm trying to uh, write any other uh, triggers here okay so t trigger on what okay on validate see you can see it's a validate trigger and if you want to write something over here so okay so if i see my int colon is equal to end what it should happen something like based on your input it is showing you what you can write okay so here you can see uh, what are the possible uh, ways when you are trying to write uh, uh, create your complete project this will definitely help you out okay so uh, here you can see that uh, if you go to the uh, plans and buildings you can even see how you can uh, make use of this um, uh, go here in your from your github if you just give here like just if you go here you can see the settings wherein in the settings you can find uh, something called your billings and options okay billings and plans okay where you can just like plans and usage where it is dollar 0, 0.00 that is until august 2 2023 it is free okay so you can just try it give it give it a try and if it is really working out for you and if you re need it really please you can make use of it and you can also tell your organization if this will definitely make use you can make use of it too in order to reduce the workload and the project uh, deliverable time then this will definitely you can use it so leave your comments if you wanted to discuss something more about the github uh, copilot or if you have any other extensions to try please leave that i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye